In stage 39, we're going to be attaching the motor drivers and cables for the X and Y axis motors. So, take the motor drivers, okay, and just identifying them carefully, notice where the drivers go. So, carefully looking at step two on the positions. Carefully take the motor drives and push those down like so. Now, out of the two cables, you have one for the X axis and one for the Y axis. Okay, so the Y axis is 310 millimeters and the X axis is 420 millimeters. So take the 310 millimeter axis and notice the connections on the side. Okay, and this is the one we need to plug this into the bottom of the X axis motor. And the x-axis motor is the one that is facing the back or is on the back of your ID box. Okay, so place that and push that into position like so. And then we then need to connect that into the board, which then goes into the x on the top of your board. You'll see it says x-axis. Okay, now just notice which way the cable goes round okay so the orange goes towards the x or the orange goes towards the back of your id box and then push that down into position okay once you've done that do exactly the same with the 410 millimeter cable and you can plug that into the Y axis once again with the orange cable facing the back and then carefully plug that into the bottom of your Y axis motor. And that completes this stage. In stage 4 two, we're going to be temporarily adding the, the Z axis motor, okay, and its cable. So take the motor, take the cable, once again, connect up the cable to the motor, like so, and then turning your ID box on its side so that the base is facing out, carefully pass the cable through and then making sure the connector is facing downwards. Pass the motor through, like so. And then using the screws provided with the spring washers and the washers, make sure that you've got the spring washer, then the washer after. Place that into each of the four corners of the motor, securing that into position. So, last but not least, Once again, carefully tighten that up, but do not over tighten.
Okay. Once you've done that, turn your ID box over and then place the connector into the remaining connection on the board beside the other ones. Once again, making sure that the orange connector is facing you. Okay, and that completes this stage.